In today's video, I'm going to show you some really cool formula examples to do multiple replacements in Excel. Now, Excel already has find and replace and function like substitute where you can replace one value with another value. But if you want to do this in bulk, you will have to do this again and again. You'll either have to use find and replace multiple times or you have to use substitute function multiple times or in a nested formula. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some cool formula examples where you can do multiple replacements in bulk. So let me show you the two examples that I'm going to cover. So here I have these addresses and I want to clean this data by getting rid of these characters such as a comma or a pipe symbol or a hyphen and I want to replace all of them with one single character which could be a comma or which could be a space character or which could be a null character. Now all of these characters could be in the same cell. So I have to do many to one replacement where I'm replacing many of these characters with one single character. And then another example is a multiple one to one replacement where I have these names and I have these training codes, but you can see that these training codes are like Excel underscore L1 and I want to replace it with the data I have here. So Excel underscore L1 should be replaced with Excel level one and PPT underscore L1 should be replaced with PowerPoint level one and so on. So I want to make the replacement in all these cells. Again, this is something that can be done with one single formula. So let me show you how it works. So here I have this data and I want to clean this data by replacing some of these characters with something else. For example, I have a comma here, a pipe symbol here, I have a hyphen here, and I want to replace all of these symbols with, uh, let's say a space character or a comma and a space character. So that is going to make all of these addresses consistent. Now, the easiest way to do this is by using a function called regex replace. Now regex replace is a new function. It is a new function in Microsoft 365 and it uses a regex pattern to identify and make the replacement. And the good thing about this function is that you can specify multiple different characters or strings or words, and it would make all the replacements in one go. I'm calling this a many to one replacement where I'm going to replace many of these characters with one given character. So here in this case, let's select this text in which I want to make the replacement. Then I need to identify the pattern and the pattern is always in double quotes. And then I need to specify the replacement. Now I'll come back to the pattern, uh, but let me first put the replacement here. So in the replacement in double quotes, I would just put comma followed by a space character, which means I want to replace comma and a pipe symbol and a hyphen or anything that you mentioned in the pattern with a comma followed by a space character. Now here within the pattern, within regex, there is an OR operator, which is a pipe symbol. So here, if I come and I put A, then pipe symbol and then B, it means that look for the, in, the, in this range, look for either A or B. And if you find either A or B, replace it with a comma followed by a space character. Now in this case, I do not have A and B, so let me remove them. Let me put the characters that I want to replace. So the first one is comma, then pipe symbol. Then the next one is let's say hyphen, then again pipe symbol. And the third one is actually the pipe symbol. Now, in this case, one problem is that how would this pattern know that this pipe symbol is actually the symbol I want to replace and it's not actually the OR operator. So just to be sure, what I would do is I would add a backward slash before these characters. So this becomes a comma. So this is actually going to look for the exact comma character, not something that represents a comma in the regex pattern. And in this case, I would again put a backward slash here and a backward slash here. So now this is my pattern, which is fine for a comma or fine for a hyphen or find the pipe symbol and replace it with comma followed by space character. See what happens when I hit enter, it makes all the replacements in one go. So this is, uh, I think is the shortest formula to do this kind of thing. You can see that in this case, I had a comma here, a hyphen, uh, a pipe symbol here, a hyphen here, and this has been replaced by a comma followed by space character here, pipe symbol has been replaced and the hyphen has also been replaced. So this is quite useful. This formula is also very manageable. If you want to change anything, you can just come here and change the pattern. If this is something that you want to do using find and replace or the substitute function, you would have to do it multiple times because find and replace can only replace one character at a time. So you would have to run find and replace multiple times, uh, three times in this case. And similarly, if you want to do this using the substitute function, you would have to create a nested substitute function that uses substitute three times for three uh, separate replacements. So this could be a pretty useful example. Now, let me show you another variation of the same thing. So here I have these addresses and I want to replace, uh, I want to construct an address. So I want to get rid of house number and street and city and state and just get the address that is here. So what I would do again is use the 
regex replace function where this is going to be my text then the pattern so i'll construct the pattern let me put the final thing here so in this case let's say i want to replace all these house numbers and street and everything with a comma followed by a space character now in this case i'm going to construct the pattern so let's put the pipe symbol which is the or operator and here the first thing i would put is house number followed by a with a colon and then a space then the second thing that i want to replace is street then the third thing i want to replace again with after the pipe symbol is city and then the fourth thing I want to replace is the state. Now, when I hit enter, see what happens. It gives me this result where it has made these replacements. So you can see that the house number part here is gone. The street is gone, city, state, all of these are gone in the result that I have. But it has given me a leading comma with a space character, which can easily be removed. If you come here, you can use the write function where this is my text and you can then specify how many number of characters you want. So in this case, I would use len of this minus two. So this extracts everything except the first two characters and this gives me the result here. And in this case, I need to change this and select everything else here. So yeah, you can see that this gives me the right result and my address has been cleaned. So this is again another example where you can use regex replace to make multiple replacements instead of running find and replace or substitute function multiple times. Now let me show you how to make a multiple one-to-one -one replacement in Excel. So here in this example, I have these names and I have these training codes and you can see there are multiple training codes in each cell and I want to replace these training codes with the actual name of the training that I have here in this table. Now, if I'm doing this using find and replace or substitute function, I would have to do it multiple times. So I would have to replace Excel underscore one with Excel level one and then move on to the next item and do it multiple times. Or if I'm using a substitute function, I would have to create a long nested substitute formula. But in this case, I'm going to use a function called the reduce function that is going to make all the substitutions with one single formula. Now reduce is a new function in uh, Microsoft 365 and this is a lambda helper function which means that this is going to use the lambda within the reduce function. Now, if you do not know what a lambda function is, I have created a separate video on it so you can watch it. I would put a link in the description. And here in the reduce function, I know it could be slightly complicated. So I would take some time in explaining how this function works. So before I show you the formula, let me explain the concept of how it is going to work. Here, I have this range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this cell here. Now, if I'm doing it manually in my head, I'm going to first see whether this part, Excel underscore L1, appears in this range. If it does, I'm going to identify the position of it, which, which let's say here, and then replace it with the word next to it. Once this is done, I'm going to move to the next item and see if this item is available in this case or not. So I'm going to go through all of these. And as soon as I find this item here, I'm going to make the replacement and then keep on going till I keep on finding it. So for every cell, I'm going to go through this table multiple times. And that is exactly what we are going to do using the reduce function. So let's create the formula. Here in reduce function, it takes three arguments. The first one is the initial value. Now in our case, the initial value is going to be this cell. So I'm going to select this entire range. If you want, you can just select one single cell. I'm selecting an entire range because then it will spill over and it will give me the result for the entire range. Now, in this case, my initial value is going to be this cell. Then my array is going to be what are the words through which I want to go through. So this is going to be this range here, E2 to E9. So I'm going to go through all of these items for this cell and then make the replacement from this column here. So these are the two things. Now, each item here in this is going to be passed on to the lambda function. So this cell is going to be passed on to the lambda function and each item in this range is going to be passed on to the lambda function, which is the third argument. So the third argument is a lambda function that takes first an accumulator argument and the current argument. So let's call it A, C, C and C, U, R, R, but you can call it anything. You can call it X or Y or A or B. Now, accumulator is the value, which is this cell. But what happens is in the beginning, this cell is going to be taken as is and passed on to this argument, which is ACC. And this is the initial value. So this is the value which is passed on. So this is cell B2. This is passed on to this argument, which is ACC. 
and then it is going to go through all the items in this range and each item is then one by one going to be passed on to this variable called current. So this is the accumulator and then this is the current where it is going to pass where each item from this range is going to be passed on to this and then we can make the substitution using a formula. So in this case I'm going to use the substitute function. So let me build it in the formula bar here where in the substitute function it is asking for the text in which it needs to make the substitution which is this text here which is the argument ACC and then it's asking for what is the old text what is the text that I want to replace which is this argument which is current so I would put CURR here and then it's asking me what is the new text and the new text needs to be taken up from this column which is column F so I'm going to use an X lookup function where my lookup value is this item which is the current item which is one item at a time from this range E2 to E9 and then it's asking me for the lookup array which is going to be this range here and then the return array is going to be this here and now when I hit enter you can see it gives me the result it has done the substitution you can see I have excel level 1 powerpoint level 1 for this and then you can see everything has been done now let me quickly again go through this formula it is quite complicated because it's difficult to visualize but this is what is happening this takes up the first cell so I get uh, in this argument, this first takes up cell B2 and this is going to take up E2 to E9 one by one. So I start with B2, then it, this is my uh, values, old values, which is Excel underscore L1 or PPT underscore L1 or anything in this range. Then it uses the lambda function. In accumulator, the value from this is passed on. This is the initial value, which is only used once. This is passed on to the accumulator value. So now my accumulator value is this cell. My current value is going to be first this cell then this cell then this cell and so on and then I use the substitute function within the substitute function accumulator is this cell here my current value is this and then it makes the substitution so it is going to find excel level 1 and make the substitution but then what happens is because this substitution is done my accumulator value now becomes excel level 1 comma ppt l1 so after the first substitution this is excel level 1 but powerpoint level 1 has not been changed because i have only processed this cell here so for the sec for the second part i'm going to process the second element and then the third element and so on so my accumulator value becomes whatever is the result i get after the substitution my current value is the next item in this range and then the substitute function works so this works as a loop it goes through all of these items makes all the substitutions and gives me the result here and because i have chosen b2 to b11 this is going to do it for all these cells so this is how you can use the reduce function to make a multiple one on one replacement while this function may seem a bit complicated once you get a hang of it you will realize that this is probably the best way to do this kind of replacement that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.